In the last lecture, we printed a virtual maze to the serial monitor and saw that we had a mouse in the upper left hand corner pointed north, like so. To understand why this occurred and how to change it, we need to take a look at the maze class real quick. You will notice that at the very top of the maze class there are four lines of code that uh, define north, east, south, and west. Uh, it's important, these are given numerical re, uh, values for reasons that will become clear and mm, down the road, but the thing you need to be aware of at this point in time is that north is given a value of zero. The next thing that's important to notice is that when the maze object is created, it creates a values array that's two-dimensional. Uh, it keeps track of the rows and the columns. This, this basically is how we assign a value to each cell in the maze. But you will notice that no values are assigned. There's no equal sign followed by a list of values. What that means is that all of the values within this array start out as zero. And that's why you saw so many zeros printed when we printed the virtual maze. You will also want to take a look at these three lines of code, which define the mouse's initial uh, position and heading. Again, note that, notice that they are not set equal to anything, which means that they start out as zero. When we go back to our representation of the maze, one more piece of information will help to make everything understandable. And that is, arrays are zero indexed. What that means is, if we have a, an array that has four columns, or four rows, this isn't row one, row two, row three, and row four. This is row zero, row one, row two, and row three. Here we have column zero, one, two, three, four, five. Which means that this is cell zero, zero. Because north is defined as zero and the mouse heading variable starts out as zero, the mouse also appears to be pointing north. To change this, let's say, let's say we want to have our mouse start out here, pointed east, then we need to get the, the row that corresponds to this position, which is row two, and column one, and then the heading is east. We just type it in. So to make this happen, I need to go to the main part of my program, and right below the sensors configure line, I'm going to add three lines of code. Maze. Once you've added those lines, go ahead and plug in your mouse, upload the program, open your serial monitor, and press your start button. And as you can see here, the mouse's initial position and heading has been changed accordingly. Once you get to this point, take some time to play with the mouse's position and heading. Make sure you can put the mouse anywhere in the maze that you want and point it in the direction that you want. This is a great way to learn how to manipulate the values within a 2D array. Once you're done playing around with the mouse's position and heading, go ahead and set it equal to the initial position and heading that we've been accustomed to in the lower left corner pointed north.